Due in part to successful conservation efforts, anglers are encountering the endangered pallid sturgeon more often, confusing them with other types of sturgeons. Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks would like to remind people, if you don't know, let it go. They're very ancient, they're very prehistoric. Um, fossil records go back 100 to 200 million years on sturgeon. So really and literally they're they're like a living dinosaur. The pallid sturgeon is one of three endangered species in Montana, at one point only having 200 adult fish in the state due to reproduction issues. Hatcheries have been working to grow pallids and have been releasing them into the wild. They are found in larger river systems like the Missouri, Yellowstone, and Milk Rivers. Shovel-nosed sturgeons also can be found here which are generally smaller than pallids, but that is not always the case. Because hatcheries have been releasing younger pallids into the wild, it's quite possible to find a young pallid and confuse it for a shovel nose. Size is not a good uh, indication. You could have a small pallid sturgeon, or you could have a big shovel nose sturgeon, and you know that throws everything off. So what you really have to check is the barbels, which are the whiskers on the fish. The pallid sturgeon has barbels which are different lengths. The inside barbels are usually a little bit shorter. The barbels at the outside of the fish's head are a little bit longer. Shovel nose sturgeon, those barbels are kind of in a straight line and they're all about the same length. If you do come across a sturgeon and recognize it as a pallid, or even if you're unsure, keep it wet, unhook it, and toss it back into the water. To learn more about pallid sturgeon conservation efforts, check out our website. I'm Anissa Coomer, MTN News.